say to me when I say to you, Susanna? Oof, it's difficult, many. Maybe the most emotional race that I've ever been. Three words would be, I could give you many, but I can just think of physically and mentally draining because it's so tough. For me, it was, it was the first time that I've been there. It was impressive. The temperature is so high, the humidity is so high. The track temperature some, normally is more than 50 degrees. Uh, it's crazy. You know, it's tough. I can sit here and talk about my idea to go and win the eight hours, but honestly, we're the real underdogs. You know, Kawasaki hasn't won the race for 26 years. But we went with a completely new team infrastructure this year, a lot of people from KRT. And whilst the goal from outside was to try and win the race, I actually thought that was a little bit far-fetched. Wow, yeah, swear to God I'm with it. I don't see nobody in my lane, it's quite go get it. Like, oh, please don't be wasting my time with that I've been quite, um at the forefront of the, the setup of the bike over the last few years and initially the, the first years it was pretty much the team green bike and what the two Japanese riders had. Um, years two and three it was more for the bike that I had um, but then the last two years with Johnny coming on board and, and working with Terry and his guys the setup, you know, the footrest position, the seat position, the tank has been what Johnny's used to so always as a rider at Suzuka it's always a compromise. Preparation has been, let me say, uh, you know, not better, not worse, but just different because we have to put together people from KRT, from Kechai, from Kawasaki Japan, Team Green. And then, okay, in the test we've been working, trying to work all together. I think we make a very good job, everybody works very well. Ah, the lap time. The gear. But in your faster lap, you find a good slipstream here. I close gas. Oh my god. I close gas. What do you mean you close? Because Suzuki coming very fast right side, I let them close and open again. Yeah, but the speed here, good. in the end, oh, I, I was, you make me mad because compared to you, it was 15 kilometers faster. And I thought, what John is doing, but, and it's just the slipstream because he's going down, the gearbox is long, and he, oh, really good. 1.5 tenths, only, only here. But it's light. Yeah, honestly, the, the relationship between both me, Johnny, and Top right over the race week, working with one crew chief, working with one electronics guy, trying to set the bike up based off of three comments, you know, it's a, a big job. So going into Saturday, we only had to do really a free practice and a super pole, um, and the rain came out, so I didn't do, I don't have so much experience with the Bridgestone wet tires, so I was quite happy just to sit in the box, kind of took the pressure off a little bit. Suzuka is, is quite special itself because the atmosphere, the, the fans, the history of the race, how important it is for the Japanese manufacturers. So maybe the race itself is, is the difference. I can say it's maybe one of the most intensive and uh, best experience in racing of my life. I mean, I have more than 30 years in racing, but uh, this year has been uh, really, really special. I invited him to Portugal last year and he was going to come, but couldn't make it in the end, but he's coming this year, so big, big company, Kawasaki. 
how we can make them proud today? For, for Kawasaki, it's very important in Japan to win the, this race. And the last uh, two years, make a big effort to, to win. For me, it's not about how fast you can go or, or your capability as a rider, it's about having a level head. Sometimes, you know, you need to be pushing fast because the pace is so fast at Suzuka, but at the same time, you need to be able to switch that fast mode to, you know, passing people safely, coming across numerous situations every lap, um, and being able to not have that hairy youngness of, I'm going to go through no matter what. Um, and I believe that, you know, I felt I, I managed that quite well, and it's only through experience that you actually do get that. I've never been so relaxed going into a race because I didn't feel the pressure was on us. Leon did a perfect start. He held that lead group until I got the bike and, and that kind of took the pressure off me because we were kind of in the mix then, everything had started. Yeah, he's doing awesome, Leon, just hanging in that front group, so it's the idea just to try and stay there. We discussed it at the start and there's a lot to happen, so see. I mean, I hate starting the race. It's, uh, I've done it before. I prefer to be the second guy because then you understand how the race is playing out and you can ride accordingly. Whether you've got to chase down a target or whether you've got to consolidate the gap you've got. If you know racing, you know that anything can happen. I look at his eyes and say, Johnny, this race is ours. You know, the first hours were uh, were crazy, you know, because uh, it was Yamaha, then it was Kawasaki, then it was Honda. They've been changing the lead of the race also. It was all about, you know, putting yourself in a good position, saving fuel, so then all the other stints you could probably run a more power, high power map. And yeah, it's about not being phased if someone pulls away like Sylvan did at the beginning because it's an eight hour race, you know, we knew we was in a good place, it was all about being consistent. In the last testing I said, Johnny, I cannot do anything, the bike is done. I mean, we just change tires and go. But you can do the job, because you are the world champion, and uh, of course you are the best rider here. This means, I'm sure you can make the difference. Johnny's pace and rhythm was a step above everybody else's, so I didn't feel the pressure to go out there and pull a three, four second lead every time I went out. I remember getting on the bike after that last pit stop and feeling so amped to go out there and give it my all, and we, we did, and I had a 30 second uh, gap before the spits of rain came, about 20 minutes to go, 25 minutes to go. And then there was that uh, famous last lap where, um, you know, we're gonna talk about that for, for probably years. We realized that you, you are so close to get the wall and the target 
And in the very last moment, boom, someone or something uh, takes for you, you know, it was so close, it was the last lap, you know. I, I had faith and confidence that it was going to be good and it was going to be happy. You know, I keep saying a roller coaster of emotion and, and for me that explains it. Fifth win in a row for Yamaha. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You know, to be honest, we, we didn't deserve to win. We made so many mistakes, especially with the pit stop. And the Kawasaki guys did a good job today. Uh, two riders, Leon and Johnny, they were fantastic. And I noticed at the end, yeah, obviously I feel a bit sorry for them, but you know, sometimes in life, you have to take it when, you know, even if you feel like you don't deserve it. But For me, the worst feeling was for the riders, and especially for Johnny. You know, I'm a grown man and tears filled my eyes. And um, I was the guy that lost us the, the eight hour. I could hear the fireworks go off, I could hear the podium in the background and we were sat there packing our bags, you know, we had an early flight the next morning, so Leon and myself and Top Rack and all our assistants, we headed back to the hotel and we just sat down to, to order our food and then I got a call from Yuri, my mechanic. I took my phone and, and I was, the, my first thinking was call him and uh, give him the, the new, you know, because I feel so bad for him. The restaurant was, it was quiet, but not quiet enough that I could hear him clearly. He says, hey, we've won the race. And I kind of went in one ear and out the other, and I says, I asked him to repeat what he says. I said, do you mean Suzuka, we've won? And he says, yeah. And I stood up in the restaurant, it was completely full. I stood up and screamed. That call felt like the podium, you know, it was, it's not better, but it was almost the same feeling, getting that news. One, there was some sense in uh, race control and we got given the results, so, so much, oh man, so much effort, you know. We prepared this race in two tests with KRT, KMJ and KHI. I'm so proud of them all, you know, proud of Leon, top right. We did it. Yes! <laughs> yes! Roller coaster is not the word. Um, from everyone being in tears to, to obviously getting the news sitting in a restaurant that we actually did win it. Um, yeah, I have no words. You know, good we didn't get to stand on top of the podium, look down on everyone, but uh, you know the result is is, is in and, and we've won Suzuka eight hours. So yeah, so proud of the team, so proud of Johnny. Um, yeah, words can't describe it, and uh, yeah, all worthwhile now. The satisfaction was from performing the eight hours that we performed and, and, and obviously we did that regardless of what happened in the last minute. You know, struggling to ride the bike with a physical injury but battling through to, to be there, to be leading the race with 20 seconds, to you know, having oil spill, having rain come, crashing, taking the result taken away from us and then getting reinstated two hours later. Cannot explain the emotion that you go through in that, you know, eight hour window.